Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a dive into the Leonardo MD82 and we're going to go through a cold and dark startup for those of you who are having issues trying to get this bad boy going. Coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. So before we get started, I just want to let you know that this is not going to be a by the book procedural startup video. This is kind of going to be a quick and dirty way to get this thing rolling so we can get it up in the sky. If you have any questions along the way, please post them down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. If the video helps you out, hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to head up to the overhead panel and we need to get some power going. So we're gonna come down and turn on the battery switch and you're gonna click it one more time to lock it in place. Once that's done, we need to get the APU going so that we can start up the engines. To do that, we're gonna come over here to the APU start pump and we're gonna click that in the on position. After that, we're just gonna come up to the APU section of the overhead panel and we're gonna flip this down to run and then flip the master down to start. All right, and we can take a look at the APU RPM gauge right above it. And as you can see, we are firing up. So you'll know that the APU is ready to provide power once we have the light illuminated. So we can now turn on the APU. We can turn on the APU air to the on position. At this point, you'll probably want to enter all the information into your FMC and get all your flight planning and all that done. But we're going to skip all that process and we're going to move on to the engine start procedures. All right, so to get the engines going, we need to get the rest of the fuel pumps turned on. So we're just going to turn on those. Before we're able to start any of the engines, we need to come down here to the center pedestal and we need to turn on the cross feed valves. Now this one on this side is a little bit hard to get. There we go, got it on the first time. Usually I don't. So you want to make sure that both of these are in the on position for you to be able to start your engines. The next thing we need to do is to come over here to the engine systems and we're going to turn either onto system A or system B. We can also turn off the start pump at this point because we have the other fuel pumps running. Next, we're going to come over here to the start switches and we are going to start with the right engine first. Then we're going to use the mouse scroll wheel here to turn on the switch. You'll also note that we have some pressure here as well. If you do not turn the APU air on, you will not have any pressure down here. Next, if you come down and check out your N2, we're already at 23, so we can head over here and turn on the fuel for engine two. Once that's done, you'll see the engine start firing up. Once that has stabilized, we can then get ready to start up engine number one. Okay, so it looks like engine number two has stabilized, so we can now proceed with engine number one. So we're gonna head back to the overhead panel. We can now flick our cover, open up the left engine cover, and then we can proceed to start that one. Scroll down with the mouse wheel and that will turn that on for you. All right, so we're just about at 20 on the N2. I'm gonna come down and turn on the fuel for engine number one. All right, so it looks like engine one and engine two have both stabilized. So that's gonna finish us up for today for the quick and dirty cold and dark start for the Leonardo MD82. If you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comments and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell, and smash on that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.